guys. I was trying to think about what kind of makeup is practical for me to take to church camp with me. <laughs> now, for most people, what kind of makeup is practical to take to church camp or any kind of camp for that matter is not going to be what I'm picking here because a lot of people don't even wear makeup when they're camping, but I do. And I like to, though, not be like super extra. That's not what I'm there for. It's not a fashion show. I'm not trying to be like... You know what I mean? But I still like to feel put together and makeup makes me feel that way. So um, I was kind of thinking about what kind of things I should take with me that will just be practical, that won't take me a ton of time in the morning because I like to get ready and get out and, you know, hang out with people and all that good stuff. And so um, I have laid out in front of me here what I'm going to take. So I thought I would show you guys. And um, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I think it's fun to see what people take on vacations and different places they're going. So I thought I might show you what church camp makeup looks like to me. It's not this, it's not extensions. And, but I was at my nephew's um, wedding reception and stuff today. So um, yeah, so let me just get into it. So I'm kind of going to go in order of the face, but I'm going to see if the eyeshadow palette's for last because that's the most fun part, is it not? Yeah. All right. So I am going to be bringing my um, Sephora beauty amplifier it's mattify and this is a mattifying um gel primer this um senia sent to me and and with like a giveaway that i had won from her she sent me some extra things and this was one of them and i use this all the time now my face is a little oily right now because it's like eight o'clock at night and obviously i was at the wedding stuff earlier today so um but it does work pretty nicely for my oily skin and then I'm taking my two Wet n Wild, these tinted hydrators. I mix these two shades together. So they are um, light medium and medium deep. And so they're a great combo. This one by itself, like more in the wintry months when I have no color is good. This one's too dark by itself, but the two of these mixed together is like, it's what I have on right now. It's what I've been wearing exclusively for months. Like I literally have not put other foundation on my face besides these. So, um, I am really enjoying them. I like the more skin-like look. I feel like it keeps me looking more youthful because the heavier the um, base, like the foundation, the more you see like my wrinkles and things like that. Which brings me to the next thing. I am going to bring this Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer with me. I do not use it under my eyes. I have not been using any concealer except for I will put a little bit on my red dot right there <laughs> just because and right now it's kind of worn off, but because I feel like it's like just so like blaring, like a beacon off of my forehead. And um, I don't like that. And so until I go get something done about it, I've been kind of just covering it a little bit, little bit. So that's all I've been using it for. I have not been using concealer under my eyes because it makes me look older. And I don't really have like really dark wrinkles or dark wrinkles, dark circles or anything under my eyes. So I don't feel like I need it for that purpose. Um, occasionally I'd put like a little on my chin because my chin tends to get red, um, or maybe like right around my nose here, but I haven't even been doing that and I've been happy with it. It's one extra step I don't have to do with my makeup and definitely not when I'm at camp. I'm going to be taking my Juvia's, um, I'm Magic Setting Powder. This is in the shade Sahara, Sahara, <laughs> however you want to say it. It is a little bit light, but by the time, like when I just do a light dusting all over, once I do like my bronzer and all that, and then spray with a setting spray, it melds in and you can't, I mean, it doesn't make my um, base makeup look too light. So I'm taking that. I am taking my Catrice California on a box bronzer and blush palette. I have talked about this several times. This is what it looks like. I got it from Ulta last year sometime because I took it to camp with me last year. And um, it is wonderful. I love, even though this has some shimmer in it, it's not too much because I don't typically like a shimmery blush, but I really love this blush. Sometimes I will go, depending on how dark my skin is at the time, I sometimes will go into both of these, but most of the time I just use this one. And then this highlight is pretty too. Um, actually, I'll show you a little swatch in that. So simple highlight. And then, um, but I want like a pinky blush too, which maybe I'll go ahead and swatch that blush for you as well and just kind of show you. I like to have like a kind of peachy tone blush. Actually, I'll show you both of them. Um, so this is the one without shimmer. This is the one with. So nice and light. But I like to have, yeah, like that peachy tone. But I also then like to have a pink tone. And I love this Too Faced Love Flush. Um, it's going to justify my love. And when you look at this, it looks scary. I'm not going to lie. Like when I first got it, I was like, oh, no with that color. I love this blush, you guys. Look at my little bunnies are fading because I use it a lot. And, uh. 
it has just the slightest little bit of sparkle to it but again you don't really see that on your face and then that is the shade so i like to have the peachy and the pink depending on, on what my eye look is because obviously like with today's eye look i would do the peachy toned and then if i use like a more pinky or something look on my eyes and i want the pinky toned one pinky toned <laughs> all right then i wanted to bring my essence pure nude highlighter because it is my tried and true my favorite it's just I always have it because I have it on today. I wore it for the wedding because that's what I like. So I'm going to put it next to this Catrice highlighter. So you can see. So the Catrice one is a little more gold. This one's a little more um, just kind of a neutral kind of champagne color. And it just, it always looks good. I just, I really enjoy it. So that's that. Then for my brows, I'm just going to bring my trusty tried and true e.l.f. Um, instant lift brow pencil which I need to buy a backup of these I usually have I just opened this one but I usually always have another backup when I open one so um, I will definitely want to get another one of these but this I just love it's what's on my brows right now it's just easy peasy and then I have this essence lash and brow gel mascara it looks like this I actually got it when we were in Kentucky I I don't love it if I'm gonna be honest like right now my brow is like I mean, it's not like they look like they've moved anywhere, but I just don't really feel like it holds anything. Um, my throat just made a really weird noise. Like when you're putting it on, you're like, oh, okay. But then there's like no stiffness whatsoever to your brows and you feel like there kind of needs to be a little bit to know that it's actually holding things there. And, but I use it anyway because I bought it and I want to use it. So, but would I recommend it? No, don't, don't spend your money and go get it. All right, for mascara, I'm gonna bring my little Benefit They're Real deluxe size one. That's what I have on my eyes today. And I'm also gonna bring my Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension Mascara. So that one, another mini. Shouldn't need more than that. I am busting out a brand new um, of my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primers though because the one I've been using is almost empty. So I'm not gonna take that with me and be struggling and take a new one because I'll probably need it. So I'm just gonna take a new one. And then, um, I am going to bring this Urban Decay All Nighter Cherry Scented Setting Spray just because I don't use it every day, but um, like if it's going to be a hot day and I know we're going to be out, I will want to set my face probably. So I will do that. And then, hmm, what should I do next? A couple little extra things that I'm going to throw in are these little two, um, the Boom Boom Cream and the Cocoa Cabana Cream. Just because I love the smell of them and when I want just something quick to put on my arms or whatever. Um, sometimes right before we're going into service, I like to just put on a little something that smells good in the evening. So that like I'm heading in, you know, after you've been outside all day and whatever. It just gives you a little refresher. So I'm going to take those. And then I'm going to take my little e.l.f. pencil sharpener in case I need to sharpen one of the eyeliners that I will be showing you in a second. And then for lips, I like to take a variety of gloss type products because I'm not wearing lipstick at camp. So first of all, I will be taking this Show Me Your Coconuts from Too Faced. That's on my lips right now. I love this stuff. It's beautiful. It goes with a lot of looks. So that will go with me. Um, I'm going to take this Lifter Gloss um, from Maybelline. It's in the shade Stone. So it doesn't have any like shimmer to it or anything. It's just more of a basic with just a slight wash of color, but gives you a little glossiness. I'm going to take this um, Moira Glow Getter Hydrating Lip Oil, and it's in Champagne Kiss because the lip oil is lovely. And again, it's just simple, sheer, but it's got some sparkle to it. My favorite little pixie, um, it's in Honey Sheen. I can't think of what these are called. Um, oh, what is this called? Heh, I don't remember. But anyway, it's a little gloss. I got this in Ipsy, and... Um, I used mine all up and my grandma got one in her Ipsy, so she gave it to me. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to take this Mayel um, Clearly Brilliant Tinted Lips and it's in, does it say a shade? Nude. Yeah. Um, this, again, just a very simple light, gives kind of just a glossy kind of look on your lips um, with a slight pink tint to it. My sister-in-law actually gave me this, whose son got married today. <laughs> and... Um, then I am going to take these again. I took these last year. The um, Sugar Rosé and Sugar Petal from Fresh. These little lip products. Um, this one, oh my gosh. I went to put this on 
when we were in Kentucky, it had like melted and I didn't realize it. And I went to put it on. I started laughing so hard. My husband's like, what did you just do? I mean, it was like smashed all over my lips. It was pretty funny. So don't keep these somewhere where they're going to get hot. <laughs> um, and then this is the, so that one is more, has a little bit more of like a creamy, like kind of a lipstick look, but very subtle. And then this Sugar Rose one, it looks like this, but it doesn't. It's more of a sheer, like, I'll show you. Looks like that right there. So, but these, I discovered this last year at camp. When I wear these, because I am a chapstick or lip balm, not so much chapstick the brand, but just lip balm junkie. Like I am constantly putting lip balm on my lips because I feel like my lips are dry all the time. I wore these at camp last year and I realized I was like not putting lip balm on. Like I'd put this on before I went out for the day and maybe once before service. And then like at night when I'd go to bed, after I like brush my teeth and wash my face and everything, I'd put my lip balm on that I typically do before I go to bed. And I was like, this is the only time I put lip balm on today. So yeah, love these. All right, now to the fun part. I'm going to show you the eyeshadow palettes I decided to bring and then tell you about some uh, liners here real quick. So I decided I'm gonna be very practical. Again, my idea of practical compared to most people when they're going camping, a little different. But um. I wanted to be kind of practical about the palettes that I chose because again, like I said, I don't want anything that's like, whoa in your face, crazy. Um, I don't want to take a long time doing my makeup, anything like that. So um, I am going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to take the You Can Be My Honey palette. You can get this on Amazon. It's extremely affordable and I love this palette so much. The shimmers in it are so stunning. Like, okay. I mean, why not just show you, right? Because it's just fun. So I'm like getting my hand all covered. Oh, I should use the finger that actually has something on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So they're like this. Oops. They're very pretty, but they're not like, they're not like the molten, you know, like whatever kind of, they're not like these Juvia's ones, but they're just very pretty and something that like, I think will be appropriate to add just a little bling but not be totally crazy so this has like all of the neutral brown shades I could want and so that is coming with me and then I wanted something a little bit more cool toned as well so you know I'm bringing my going coconuts palette because my son Gavin basically got this for me <laughs> he gave me the gift card that I bought it with so I say it's from him because it is but I love this palette it just creates super simple pretty looks it's perfect so that's definitely coming and then I wanted though a little bit of pink because I don't know why but I just feel like I that would be the other color that I'd want to incorporate that's more subtle but gives a little something so I'm bringing my give it to me straight palette from Colourpop and it looks like this and it's just got some really pretty you know soft shades let me show you this up front I love and straight up actually so So they look like that. So just to give a little bit of color and, you know, be pretty, but more subtle. I don't, you know, yeah. All right. So those are the three palettes. I've only taken those three palettes. Can you believe it? For two weeks, you guys. Two weeks. Three palettes. Who am I? <laughs> a girl who's going to church camp and doesn't need a bunch of makeup. That's you. And then um, I definitely wanted to take, I'm going to just take this little Lottie London and PM Brown um, liner for tightly anyway upper you know lash line or even the bottom if I feel like it if I want a darker um lash line and then this essence extreme lasting um I pencil it's waterproof and it's black midnight sky this is what I've been using a ton instead of black to tight line my upper lash line that's what I have on today actually up there and um love it so that's going with me and then um for the waterline I am going to bring this Avon True Color Glimmer Sticks Diamonds in Sepia. And it looks like that. So to just be a pretty little, you know, brownish tone down in there if I want it. And um, also the Essence Extreme Lasting, this is the same kind as that Midnight Sky one, but this is Silky Nude. And that's actually what I have in my waterline today. But again, it's been on for hours and hours, but it still, you know, has a brightness down there. So 
And then my, I wanted a pink just in case, um, this NYX Off Traffic Liner and it's in Happy Hour. I wish they still made these because it's awesome. And then I'm going to bring all my LA Girl Shockwave liners that I have. So I've got, um, this one is Electric. This is Screamin'. This one is Gotcha. This one is Vivid. And this one is Fresh. So I'm going to bring those because I decided if I do want a little something, a pop of color with a liner in the waterline will be a better bet than like crazy colorful makeup. So that is what I decided I'm going to take with me. So you guys let me know. Do you think I'm going still way overboard? I might not even end up using a lot of this, but I like to have options. And I felt like the three palettes that I chose are very like versatile enough where I can switch things up a little here and there, but not like, whoa, girl, whoa, you know? So yeah. So that is the makeup that I am taking with me to church camp. Also, if you're interested in seeing this look that I have on right now, I did record this. So I will link that video up here. Um, it was my little get ready with me for my nephew's wedding. So you can check that out if you're interested. And yeah, all right. Oh, and the best part. Okay, I'm gonna put these all in their little boxes because that's what I do. So hold on just a second. Um, part of the reason I keep things in their boxes is because someone was just telling me when I did my um, eyeshadow palette collection and stuff videos that her going coconuts palette, this has completely rubbed off of the front of it. And I can tell that that would happen to this one too. And I'm like, well, I'm a nerd who like keeps all my packaging. <laughs> so that hasn't happened to me, but I know it would if I didn't. So I like to keep things in their boxes. So I've got these in their boxes. I'm going to show you guys something. The entire contents of what I am taking with me fit in this bag. So that is my whole face. And then I will just have this with my brushes in it that I will take with me. And that will be all the makeup that I take for camp. So, yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you're like, girl, you are so excessive, you can tell me. It's okay. I'm a little excessive. <laughs> it's like, I know this is so, like, old and everyone knows it, but... I still love the, it's okay guac, I'm extra too. Like, I just think that's so funny because sometimes I am a little bit extra. Like, not in an obnoxious way, I don't think. I hope not. But sometimes I just, I don't know, you know, I like a little extra. So actually I'm showing, I'm putting my like color switch thing in here and my um, eyelash curler. So that will be all my stuff together. So yeah, all right. Heading off to camp soon. You won't know it. You'll see this after the fact, but, but that's okay. But, uh, yeah, so I'm so excited and I feel really pretty today. So that's part of why I wanted to record this video while I still have my makeup and my, my hair in and everything. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.